Today we're going to be talking about surface area of prisms and cylinders. So a prism is a polyhedron with two congruent parallel bases and the lateral sides are parallelograms. So you have the base that's going to be some sort of polygon of some sort. So triangle, square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, something. You have those two parallel bases. And then each one of your sides here is going to be a parallelogram. In most cases, if it is a right triangle, or I'm sorry, a right um, prism. So we have all right angles in there. It's going to be a rectangle. But if it's an oblique, kind of like if it's slanted over, that's going to be, they're going to be, the sides are going to be parallelograms. Now the sides are called lateral faces. So this gray area there, that's a lateral face. The lateral edge here, where two lateral sides meet, okay? And then we have the altitude. If the altitude is exactly perpendicular to, the altitude is perpendicular to both bases. So for a right prism, let me do that in a different color, your altitude is the same length as your lateral edge. But now here, in an oblique, your altitude is kind of outside and is, is perpendicular, maybe a little bit outside. We'll talk about what that means. We name our prisms by the type of base we have. So if our base is a rectangle, it's a rectangular prism. If our base is a pentagon, it's a pentagonal prism. If it's a hexagon, it's a hexagonal prism. If it is a square, it's a square prism. Well, a square prism is basically a cube. Um, but we name it by what type of shape our base is. Okay, lateral area, area of all the lateral sides. So lateral area is the area of each one of the sides. So basically this rectangle plus this rectangle plus this rectangle, plus this rectangle, and so on. You kind of get the idea. So our lateral area, and I'm going to use this pentagon one down here. The area of each one of those squares is the length, I don't want to use that cursive letter, is the length times the height. And we multiply by the number of sides that we have. So let's look at it. The length times the number of sides. So the length here times by the number of sides. So one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be my perimeter. So our lateral area is perimeter of the base times by the height. And let me write that out in words. Perimeter of the base times by the height of our prism. Find the lateral area of the hexagonal prism. So lateral area is equal to perimeter of the base. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. They're each five centimeters long. And then our height is 12. I knew that they were each five. I knew that all these were congruent because question told me is a regular hexagonal prism. So multiplying all those together, we get 360 square centimeters. Find the lateral area of the regular 
octagonal prism. So again, this is a regular figure, meaning that all of my sides are equal. So my lateral area is the number of sides I have times by three times by my height, which is nine, and that is 216 square centimeters. Surface area of prisms, the area of all the lateral sides plus the bases. Okay, so lateral area, I'm gonna be using the term lateral area. For the bases, I'm gonna be using a big letter B. So we need to find the area of those bases. So I have one, two, bases. So what is this? Okay, my surface area is my lateral area plus the area of two bases. And this chapter is really, really focused on a lot of formulas. And I try to explain to you most of the formulas so that it helps you remember them. But you might want to start getting some note cards, writing the formulas down, testing yourself every day so that you learn those formulas. Okay. All right. Our next example. So find the surface area of the triangular prism. I like the idea of us laying out the lateral area first. Okay. So our lateral area is perimeter of the base times by the height. So perimeter of the base, I'm going to worry about that in a minute, times by the height, which is 10. Now, every, one, every example I've been doing so far, we are, we have assumed, it has told us that it is a regular polygon. This one's not regular, because if I look here, this side is 6, that side is 8. To get that length, I'm going to call that C, we have the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals 8 squared plus 6 squared. C squared equals 10, I'm sorry, equals 100. I was getting a step ahead of myself. So C equals 10. So this side is 10, and that side is 10. So what's the perimeter of my base? Well, that's 10 plus 10 plus 12, 10, 20, 32. So we have here, our lateral area is 320. I don't have units, so I'm not going to worry about units. The area of my base is 1 half. The base length is 12 times by my height, which is 8. Again, I'm just looking at, let me highlight it. Let me see how green turns out. I'm just looking at this triangle here. And to get that, that is 48, but I need two bases, so 48, why did I write 42? I guess I was worried about the two. So 48 times two, we get 96. So I add my total surface area is the lateral area plus twice the bases, and that is equal to 416. Again, I don't have units, so I'm not going to worry about giving us units. Okay, a cylinder. So if I were to break up a cylinder, so if I were to take this cylinder, and I think of a soup can. I remember my high school geometry teacher telling me soup can. So if you look at a soup can, you peel the label off, and then you have the top and you have the bottom. What is this length going around? Which ends up being the width. Well, that's 2 pi r times by the height of our can. So the lateral area is the area of that rectangle. Area of a rectangle is width times height. Surface area is the lateral area 
plus twice the bases. Well, that's 2 pi rh plus 2. The area of the bases is pi r squared. Okay. Again, very formula driven. Make sure you're making note cards, writing these down, making sure that you're keeping track of these. So find the lateral area and surface area of the cylinder. Lateral area, okay, 2 pi r h. So that is 2 pi, my radius is 14, my height is 18. I need it in terms of pi, so I'm going to leave that pi hanging out there. And that is 504 pi square feet. The area of two of my bases. So 2 times by pi r squared. 2 times by pi times by 14 squared is equal to 392 pi square feet. So to get my surface area, I add my lateral area plus twice my bases. So that's 504 pi plus 392 pi. And that ends up being... 896 pi square feet. Okay, our last example here. Remember how I was talking about a soup can? That's kind of what I was what I was looking at. Um, and this is a good visual of that. A soup can is covered with the label shown. What is the radius of the soup can? So remember that this is this is our lateral area. The lateral area of this is 8 times 15.7. Don't multiply that through. You're going to see why in a minute. What's the formula for lateral area? The formula for lateral area is 2 pi r h. It's equal to 8 times 15.7. Well, we know the height. Two pi r is what I'm looking for. I know the height is eight. Again, don't multiply anything yet through yet because you're going to see something. Notice what happens. Those eights cancel. So now I have two pi r equals fifteen point seven. If I divide by two pi, divide by two pi we get our radius, which is approximately 2.5 inches. Okay, that is my video on surface area of prisms and cylinders. Thank you for watching.